Okay, Julian. For those of you that aren't familiar with Virgos and Aries, we typically aren't supposed to really like get along in a dating environment. Our signs really don't like mesh super well. But just like everybody says, astrology is bullshit and you should date who you want. It's easy to date you because you're sweet like sugar. Julian is a typical Aries. He is a tornado. He likes to cook with vigor and fury. I get things done really fast. Speed I'm efficient. I don't waste time. Whereas I like to follow all the directions and make sure that nothing is a mess and that everything is neat and no one gets hurt. We don't go to the hospital. It always amazes me that you guys like to watch these because we're both vegan. Julian has celiac disease, so everything we eat needs to also not have gluten in it. I'm diseased. <laughs> He's diseased. When he said he wanted cannolis, I was a little blown away because I don't think I've had a cannoli since I lived in Boston. And I was like, there's no way there's a vegan gluten-free cannoli, but leave it to Pinterest, beach. I found this recipe on gluten-free palate. Someone has done it, someone has made a recipe, and we are following that. We're gonna use it as a rough guideline for what we're doing today. No, we're using it. We're gonna it. reference it from time to time, but we're gonna take the lead. This requires a deep fryer, or like to fry things in oil, so I don't wanna mess around, Julian, because someone's gonna get hurt. Frying things in oil is literally the best time to mess around. 350 degrees. No, 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 not 355. Okay, fine. 360. 360. You ready to make some greatness? This is what it's like. Like, I know you guys see parts of it, but like, it tests me every day. Because half the time you do that and you catch it, and the other half we go to the ER. Bless all of you out there that have an Aries loved one. You are a lot. We love you. You're a lot to love. I'm a lot. As a formality, I have all the measuring cups, even though we're generally gonna be just you're gonna find a way to get every single one of them dirty too. Eyeball on it. Which one of us is the Susan chef? And cut. We were gonna cut this recipe in half, but it gives you this little yeast that we have to... One and a third cups of water. So put the yeast in this little bowl. You're getting yeast everywhere! I'll take these to the trash, okay? You don't have to stir things with your finger. You can use like a utensil or a spoon. <laughs> People are gonna eat things. Did you wash your hands? Yeah. A couple hours ago. <laughs> oh Come on. See how I did that without getting flour everywhere? Like, it's possible. It took you like 20 if minutes you believe. <laughs> See, what I'm gonna do right now, instead of taking this and throwing it across the kitchen, I'm gonna go put it in the garbage. Riveting. See this? You just ripped it off and threw it. How much sugar? Three cups. Wait, 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 wait! That's powdered sugar! Because I thought it only went in the filling. That's the filling! Oh, oh, sorry. Just, like, read. I thought two tablespoons of granulated sugar. We had the two wrong sugar the whole time. No, this is for the filling. Like, if I don't catch little stuff like that, we end up with a nightmare all the time. Two tablespoons. That's very different than three cups of powdered sugar. We're, like, baking, so it needs to be, like, relatively exact. I'll go put this back. Nutmeg? Cinnamon! Dude, we're not ready for that yet. I'm just getting it ready. What is shortening? It looks like butter. Ew. No, 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 throw that out. Okay. Normally, they have these things called cannoli molds where they're like a metal tube, similar to this, where you like wrap the cannoli around and you fry it like that so it we keeps its shape. We couldn't find any. We couldn't find any, so I bought like a baster that can withstand 500 degree heat and we're just gonna use that. This better work. I want cannolis. Here we're adding two tablespoons of oil. Any kind of oil works. That's not true. I think we're gonna use our hands for this. You wanna go a little faster? No, I think this is good and careful. I'll I can't believe how everywhere. slow you're doing this. Don't put your face in it. I was giving it love. I was giving it <laughs> eye contact and love. Can I go? Okay, give yeah. it, first of all, give it some eye contact and love. I love you. <laughs> okay, don't overwork it or else they're gonna come out really tough. Like just enough to form a dough ball. I don't want no pansy little cannoli. I want a tough. Weathered, strong cannoli. <laughs> That's not how baking works, I don't think. I want a cannoli that is an independent cannoli that don't need no man cannoli. <laughs> As with gluten-free things, it'll get kind of crumbly. We have to do this a lot with stuff. We get like a egg replacement. You see this? He does a glass bowl on top of a dish towel so that it's like ready to fall at any second. Are you done with this? No. Yes, you no, are. No, I'm still using it. If I wasn't so diseased, we could just make normal flour things. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna cover it and hold it in the fridge for 10 minutes and then we're gonna- Oh, Julia! 30 minutes. Or 10, whatever you feel like. We getting ready to make the cream filling. I got the bowl. 
Dear God, it's me. Your boy, Julian. <laughs> Thanks for giving me all this energy. Can some more? We're adding a half a cup of... Earth balance. Earth balance, buddy. Because spread. we're balanced. We're not imbalanced. Half a cup of palm shortening. You gotta do it like that. And then immediately after this step, you have to send five emails off of your phone screen. <laughs> all right, I got a quarter cup of vegan ricotta right here. I'm gonna make a tower yeah. over here of all the ingredients that we've used. Sweet. And the last one I'm gonna dump from up here. Start on high. No, you start it in the bowl so it doesn't like spill everywhere. I wonder how it tastes. No, 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 no. This is what I'm doing right now. This is so good. It's really nutritious too. Put that in the fridge. I'm gonna just take these out for science. Ow! My hands. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? Here you go, I love you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I'm glad they got on my hand and not on my shirt. <coughs> Why'd you have to do that right into that bowl? We just made that. <laughs> throw that out. Second free throw. Throw that out. Which one do you want me to throw out? Both of them. <laughs> I guess we'll see what happens. Look at you go, girl. Oh. Yeah, but it's all like, it's still a little crumbly and cracky. Yeah. It could be worse. Like at least it's sticking together. So I think we're gonna make them like a little bit small. Small cannolis. Kind cannellinis. Cannellinis. It's too thick. Let's just see what it looks like wrapped around here. Hold on. Should we like flour this? I just don't want them to get too dry. Uh, I have so many concerns. I'm pretty impressed with that. Careful, it's gonna stick. No, it's not. It just did. Now you broke it apart. Right. Why don't we try frying this one? All right. Why would you fry one at a time? It's so dumb. Like that? Yeah. And then lower it. There you go. <gasps> I did it. You did it so well, Jenna. All right, now you make the next one. Oh, my hand was under that. How do I not careful? I don't like all this stuff in the deep fryer. I feel like it's dangerous. Oh, that came out really good. <gasps> you were right. Oh. Oh yeah, take it out. It's already so dark. Cool. It said three to four minutes. Ah, my hand is on there. Why would you do that? So just grab the pipe with your hand. No. Oh, it's bubbling. Oh my God. <laughs> um, just wait till that cools a little bit. Like this. Should we put the top on? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh! See, Julie, it's got a, it's got a like really be stuck on there. Okay. Wow, this one came out so fat. It's like fried dough. Wait, how do I get this off? It's stuck on there forever. It's not just. <laughs> it's stuck to it. It's dead. We need to have a funeral for it. It's dead. It's not dead. It'll work. I mean, aside from breaking it, it looks pretty nice. It's a little more like fried dough texture. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's good, but they're like soft cannolis. I don't think we can get them dinner though, right? Not gluten free. Why are you moving that? Oh my God, it made me so nervous, babe. You almost knocked that glass off the counter with a deep fryer. Mm -hmm. Look at them right now. Julian, and also like, I don't want to hear all the slander about your grandmother making cannolis and this being an abomination. Look, okay, we know. I just like food. Careful, because there's oil in there. They're kind of like puffy and fat though. Kermit, what are you eating? I feel like the picture on this Pinterest is not the cannolis that she made. That's very possible. <laughs> oh, that one already came apart. Fuck. Ah. Ah. Yeah, this is hard. This is the best we've done so far. Like if you put powdered sugar on that, it's fried dough. Is that a dish? Mm-hmm. Like a funnel cake? Mm. It's so good. Ooh, this one's looking really good, Julie. We should have never made these. It was really good. Like, they're looking better and better. Yeah, one at a time is the way to go. How would you fry one at a time? It's so dumb. Like I suggested. Let me see. And you said frying them one at a time was stupid. That one is beautiful. Uh-oh, that one popped off. Fuck. The amount that are just, like, failing shows how fucking hard this is. Yeah, it is really difficult. Oh, my God. Like, piping hot oil coming out like a straw. Uh... It's like my nightmare every time. Like I'm the freaking oil. out. I'm just gonna try and like squeeze it in there, I guess. Oh, it's coming out the other side. Look at you, you Italian pastry chef, you. That's me, beach. <laughs> Look at that. 
Damn. It actually like looks kind of nice. Like, does it look like a cannoli? Okay, I mean, so this in one's theory. the money maker right here. This one's gonna win us contests. Ooh, look at you. Give me the other side, bitch. Yeah, you gotta like give it some pressure. It sticks in there. Oh, you can have that one. You can have the good Potter, one. Look at look at what you did. It looks nice. I mean, I'm too lazy to put powdered sugar on it, but like that's what he would do, right? <gasps> Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yours sounds crunchy. Mmm. This is good. This tastes like a cannoli. It sort of tastes like a cannoli. It's definitely like not as crunchy as a cannoli. And the filling is like sort of like a cannoli, but not exactly. But it is the closest thing I've ever had to a cannoli. It's beautiful. I mean, regardless, it is still really it good. It tastes fucking good. Honestly, all that I care about is that it's like a nice, doughy outside that tastes good with a really sweet inside. You can make an open, an open noli, like an, a noli taco. Make a noli taco. Oh, oh, that, you know, that's gross. Maybe a little salsa on top. Oh, that one was crunchy. Mm -hmm. Noli tacos, dude, is that not a thing? Okay, that is the perfect texture. We should fry them like that. How'd you get it like that? <laughs> Cannolis, bitch. That is some Aries bullshit. I'm gonna right. drown them. You stick. I'm not super pleased with the amount of mess that's going on. There's no mess. What mess? We're gonna make some cannoli tacos. Cacos. <laughs> tacos! Yeah, look how much better the texture came out when you just let them do what they want. Well, I know that we've sold everyone super hard on the idea of vegan gluten-free cannolis because ours came out so well. But what I do hope you take away from this is whatever your dietary restrictions are, you can if you have it. any, just make whatever you want. You know what I'm saying? Can I make your caco? I want to make your caco. Is it cooled off? Yeah. That's too much. That's gross. That ratio is all off. Clean it up. Give me a little. No, 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 no. M make it like nice and even. No, all the way, no. You don't listen to my vision and then you just put your vision onto it. This is really good. This looks like a dick or a poop. <laughs> no pulling things out of the deep fryer until everyone in the room is ready. That's fucking good. Right? Like, not, what did I say? Stop, you're gonna burn me. Maybe it's not the shape you're familiar with, but it's the taste and the texture. Why are you holding my wrist? To prevent you <laughs> from doing anything airy. I want my wrist back. Wait, what are you doing? I just wanna put butter on this one. Thank you for letting me be in your kitchen. You're not always allowed in here, but when you are, <laughs> it's under supervision. Fuck. The dogs are gonna eat that. Peach just ate it. Julian. Subscribe, Peach. It is possible for a Virgo and an Aries to function in the kitchen. You can make some magic together. Shouts out to all my Virgos out there with the infinite patience and organization and wisdom. And a louder, more boisterous shouts out to all my Aries out there. For what? Keep going. You're like a Except lot Except move though. faster. At least I didn't stick acrylic nails into a banana today. We did make cannolis, but we also invented something. Cacos. Cacos. Coming soon to downtown LA. J and J's Cacos. Come on in for five, for Caco Tuesday. <laughs> I'm gonna drink that later. Don't, no, you're not gonna <laughs> drink this later. I hope this inspires all my other Virgo Aries couples out there. You can make it work as long as you control your Aries. Thank you and you're welcome. All right, that's it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put on videos on Wednesday slash Thursday, Julian. Why, why? Like, what did anyone ever do to you? Ow, it's hot. Hands, our okay. hands. <laughs> <laughs> our hands are done. <laughs> Keep them to yourself. <laughs> can I just a little bite? Oh, you can have a bite. <laughs> That's funny. funny. It's not funny. It's not, it's not funny. Oh, I love you. I need to text someone. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week.